In less than a week, restaurants in Kentucky can open their doors for the first time in over two months. While it's exciting, many of you are still asking what this means for diners. What will this look like? Who can you dine with? Well, tonight, Jesse Cohen answers many of those questions and shows us how some restaurants are adapting. They've sat idle for more than two months, and in just six days, restaurants doors will be back open for in person business. We were just so excited um, for our employees, first and foremost, and for the community to just provide another means of escape from everything that's going on right now. But restaurant owners and staff like Matthew Buto, the general manager at Agave and Rye, knows that escape won't look the same as it did prior to the pandemic. Luckily for them, they are not just restricted to that 33% limited capacity inside because they have a brand new patio ready to use outside. And the guidelines allow for unlimited outdoor seating with the proper spacing. It is a very large patio to say the least. Um, it's about the same size as our restaurant is inside. Buto says that seating will make all the difference in the world come Friday. And Mayor Greg Fisher is on the same page. Just a few days ago, he proposed expanding outdoor seating to places like sidewalks and parking lots. We know that the virus does not travel outdoors like it does indoors, so this provides an opportunity for restaurants to increase their volume. And just a few days later, Metro Council unanimously passed it an effort to help businesses serve more customers. It's worrisome to think that a lot of places may or may not be able to make it out of this, but I think that the mayor doing what he did is a step in the right direction. But with more customers comes more guidelines. The latest from the state includes keeping six feet apart, dining in groups limited to 10 people, and only eating with others who live in the same household. The state is also encouraging restaurants to use disposable menus, napkins, utensils, and tablecloths. Along with these rules, Buto says their restaurant will have further precautions in place of their own. As long as we do things to make sure that we are being safe and not take this for granted, you know, we don't want any setbacks. But he says it's more than worth it to get restaurants back on their feet. For the night team, I'm Jesse Cohen.